It's spring in South Africa, and after a long, harsh winter, life has returned to the African bush. The changing seasons are bringing back much of the extraordinary wildlife. But the increasing temperatures also bring with them storms. Thunder, lightning and rain. Overnight, the landscape can completely be transformed from a bone-dry savanna to a tropical oasis. This spring has seen the end of a three-year drought. So it's the perfect time to raise pups. Meet the half pints. They're dwarf mongoose. Living in family groups of up to 16 adults, there's no escaping family life. Martini, the dominant female, has just had her first litter. They spend much of their time asleep. But just like us, there's always time to mess around. It might all look pretty vicious, but really, it's only a little bit of fun. Play fights are a big part of social life for these mammals. It's a big day for Sangria, Fizz and Record Link, the group's new pups. Today is the first day they learn how to forage. Cosmo, the first in line to become dominant, is already out foraging. As a subordinate, him and his siblings will be teaching the new recruits. The trouble is, Pups don't really know what they're doing. Like many other small mammals, they move through the growth and use their acute sense of smell to detect insects, grubs below the surface. It looks like Recordling has found something. Given up. The cordling has realised sometimes it's easier to let someone else do the hard work. A beetle. A tasty meal for a young mongoose. An African giant millipede. Filled with deadly cyanide, they're probably not the best meal for a mongoose. But Uzo has found something else for Fizz. A centipede. He's keeping a close eye on Fizz. He wouldn't want him to get a bite. It could be game over for the pup. There we go. He's got it. By midday, temperatures soar to upwards of 40 degrees. That's a little too warm for foraging. It's time the half pints took a nap. But elsewhere, the jelly babies have had a big morning.
fair pups, just a few weeks younger, are moving burrow for the first time. The first two weeks of their life are spent beneath the ground, without leaving the burrow. But you can't stay put forever. The fish eagle. All the mongoose stand watch for predators. Time to go. Carrying their young in their mouths, they make a dash for it. Running ahead, the subordinates check if the coast is clear. Predators are never far. Back. Bueno lets the group know it's safe. As fast as they can, they run. Out in the open, they're easy picking. They run the final 100 metres. They've made it. For today, these pups are safe. But everyone in the family must keep a constant watchful eye if they want to give these pups the best chance in life. Finally, it's the end of the day and the half pints have time to relax. Nibbling, cheek rubbing and scent marking, these mongoose strengthen their friendship before going to sleep. It can be tiring being a youngster, so after a long day, it's finally time to go to bed.